So here's what might be the worst team ever. And we're starting the year 1983. Magic Johnson's your MVP. Shout out Cade Cunningham for making third team. And I don't know what voodoo magic this is, but we won 61 games. This team is somehow fringe contenders in the 80s, and I had no idea. And year one's coming to an end, losing to Philly in five. I did not expect to have this many building blocks in year one, but somehow getting to the second round of the playoffs, I don't really know what to say about that. I had a theory that we were taking more threes than everybody, but that's not even the case. And also, I don't know if you knew this, but the Pistons can't shoot, hence why they lost like 24 four games in a row. Here's the draft lottery that we weren't involved in. This probably gets it done, I would assume. Yeah, look at that. I got the second pick. I just got Akeem Olajuwon for a bag of chips. So here we go. Michael Jordan goes first. Obviously, nothing I could do about it. Yeah, that's a win in my book. We got it for Bogdanovich, Bagley, and, and a bag of chips. And here's how the team's looking at the free agency. I signed some players, and now we're here in year number two. Today's video is sponsored by Sleeper, one of the fastest growing fantasy apps in the world. We are almost halfway through the NBA season, so there's more than enough time to cash in on your basketball knowledge. Using the Sleeper app, you can win up to 100 times your money. Choose as many as eight players that you like and pick more or less on stats like points, rebounds, assists, and many more. And when signing up, use promo code SLEEPERYNG to instantly get up to a $500 match on your first deposit. And now that you know how it all works, let's cook something up. Let's start off with Shea under 33 and a half. That's just a lot of points. I know he's having a great year, but we'll go under. Julius Randle over four and a half assists seems pretty credible. Let's get freaky and do Giannis to make a three-pointer. He's hit one three in the past four games, okay? And let's get Wemby for over two and a half blocks. He's been hitting this pretty consistently. We can lock this in for the amounts they have here or put in our own custom amount. Once again, use promo code SLEEPERYNG and you'll get up to a $500 match on your first deposit. Terms and conditions apply. See Sleeper's terms of use for details. Currently operational in over 25 states. Shout out Sleeper for sponsoring this video and be sure to check out Sleeper links down below. Two first and three good players for Dominique Wilkins. I think it's worth it. I'll bite. Oh, all right. We got ourselves Dominique Wilkins, baby. Magic with another MVP. We didn't have a single player make an NBA team, but we did win 70 games. My God, if you're a Pistons fan, you're probably losing your mind. And Dominique was our leading scorer drop in 24 a game. This team is built to win a championship. And we would make our way all the way to the finals. We're facing off against the Lakers. This should be a great matchup. Let's see what happens. And we were just minutes from blowing a 3-0 lead. Cade Cunningham, Dominique Wilkins, and Akeem Olajuwon, man. This is going to be some nasty work. Dominique won finals MVP. That was a phenomenal trade. And all I did in the offseason was re-sign Cade Cunningham, so we got him for five more years. And here we are in year number three. Magic stealing every MVP. And we won 70 games again. I guess if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And we stormed our way back to the finals again, facing up against the Lakers, where I guess they got worse because Kareem got worse, but James Worthy definitely got better. And you can go ahead and give me ring number two. Now, we don't really have any snipers, but we are in the 80s, so we don't gotta worry about that yet. Look at Akeem, man. 30 and 20. I couldn't get any of the big free agents, but we're still a great team. Year number four. Finally, a new MVP. And we have set the NBA record for most wins in a season. We've come a long way, Detroit, but we are here. And we swept our way to the NBA Finals against the Lakers team who doesn't have Kareem anymore. We are building the greatest dynasty ever. Why would I ever try to get magic when we have magic with a jump shot? Yes, I'm aware how insane that it sounded. <laughs> okay, uh, don't blame me. I can be a little cocky. We've won three championships in four years. So the Suns have the number one pick. Two first round picks? There we go. All right, we're going to get Scottie Pippen at least. Unless they don't take David Robinson. It's it. I, I wanted Day Robinson so bad. They just want they were they weren't budget. So we'll take Scotty Pippen. It's all good. Dominique, bro, he left me. All right, well, here's the team without Dominique. I guess we have Pippen though. But I'm still not happy, man. That was a big loss. He just left. Hakeem with another MVP. And I guess we didn't lose a step without Dominique. Everyone's playing great basketball. And I'm sure you're shocked we're back in the finals again. Where we'll have our first matchup against Michael Jordan and the Houston Rockets. And there goes another championship for us. We just have to stick to the formula. Keep acquiring young players and knowing when to move off our older guys. Look at Jade and Ivy, man. What a great game. The Hawks have the first pick, but I don't like this draft. Can all this give me like the eighth pick in the draft? No. How about now? Okay, we got the eighth pick in the draft. We'll take it. We're going to take Rick Smith. Sure, why not? He's 7-4. And here we are. Player progression with Scotty being up to an 83 now. And in year six, this team is looking amazing. Magic taking the MVP back. At least we're still the first seed winning 72 games. Scotty Pippen scoring the ball more. That's good to see. We have a game seven in the conference finals trying to stay alive. They are wasting all the clock. Bird with a dime right there, man. And that'll do it. Well, I guess we were due to lose. So, you know, it is what it is. It just wasn't our year and the Lakers win the championship. The Cavs have the number one pick. Can we get it done for Duran and garbage? Oh, okay, that worked. I didn't think that was actually going to work, but we just traded Durant for the number one overall pick pretty much in a bunch of garbage. So I guess we'll take Sean Kemp. Why not? We need a true power forward anyway. Well, here's year seven, and we're still a great team. Hakeem back to winning MVPs. Still winning nearly 70 games. And I can't ask much more from these guys. And we're back in the finals facing off against the Suns. And we're facing off against David Robinson. And we got a minute to go here in game seven. He's going to let him drive right by. Hello, play some defense. Good deep. Got to grab the ball. And, dude, we're about to lose this finals. I think Akeem actually fouled out, man. We're in trouble. Hello, eight seconds. 
Like, that's the shot to try to tie the game. Well, enjoy your championship. I, ha, that, that, that rink should have been ours. Look at Akeem. Five points, four rebounds. Did he foul? Dude, Akeem, that's bad, bro. That one's going down in history. The Magic got the first pick. All right, we're going to do this deal here for the number one overall pick, Jaden Ivey. It's, it's time to let him go, man. He makes way too much money, and we're getting the number one overall pick. We're going to get Gary Payton, so it works out. You got to know when the cut ties. We got Scotty up to a 90 now. Rick Smith up to an 85. That was a great draft pick. And here we are now in year number eight. David Robinson's your MVP. The Pistons are still good at basketball. Look at Scotty now dropping 18 a game. And we're back in the finals yet again with another rematch against Magic Johnson. And we went through a long drop, but we're back winning championship. Still got we got Akeem, we still got Cade, we still got Scotty Pippen, we got Sean Kent, Rick Smith. Just have to bite the bullet at the right time. Look at this big three, man. They're dominating. And the Clippers hold the number one pick, but I don't think I care. I'd like to get Matumbo on this team. Does this get it done? Okay, we got the fourth pick in the draft. And Matumbo's still on the board, so we're taking him. Well, we're keeping this team intact, but we got a money issue. We are in year number nine, and now in the Jordan era, or the Pistons era, we're pretty good. Magic's your MVP. We went 73-9. and nine. We have so many good players, man. I'm gonna have to make some tough decisions. But let's not deal with that now, because we're back in the finals against Magic Johnson again. Just gotta hold on and ring number six is ours. Magic getting double teamed in the post there. Okay, that'll do it. Gotta say, I did not come in this video thinking we would have six rings by now, but we have been steamrolling. I know we had a couple rough years, but right now we've been steamrolling. And now I'm doing whatever it takes to get that number one pick. I got Matumbo for this sole reason. How about a draft pick? Oh, they... I did not think they were going to do that, bro. I just threw garbage. I'm not in Matumbo. I'm not going to lie. Welcome to the team, Mr. Shaquille O'Neal. We sadly lost to Sar Thompson. I couldn't afford him, but we are still a phenomenal basketball team. This man has like 10 MVPs. Look at a Sar, man, on first team. We let one get away, but we didn't have a choice, man. Got to rip the Band-Aid off, and it might be Cade's turn next. And we're here in the finals against a new team. The Spurs with Clyde Drexler, okay. And we're trying to close him out here in five. Seven seconds left for the championship. Off the Sean Kemp screen. Cade drops. I mean, kind of anticlimactic because it was wide open, but what are you going to do? Two seconds left, Clyde, throw it. Don't do it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't. Ooh, Cade getting finals MVP. I don't know if that's actually true, but at least here he's holding it. Here's the draft lottery. What? Oh, I didn't think they were going to do that. I didn't think they were going to do that, bro. I just got the first and second pick, but I... Oh, I could have played around with that more. Well, we're going to be taking Weber and Hardaway, but I, I, I could have probably reeled back a little bit of that deal. Well, here we are in year number 11. About time we see that MJ guy. And this team keeps on winning no matter who's here. I mean, we do have Akeem, Kev, Pippen, Payton, Shane, and just all the best players, but you know. And we swept our way to the finals. But we're facing Clyde Drexler again. Let's go ahead and bring in ring number eight. I wonder how much longer I'm going to keep Akeem on this team. I could give the keys to Shaq right now we probably wouldn't miss a beat. Look at Gary Payton, 28 and 16. Philly has the first pick. I don't have the assets for the first or second pick, so I'm going to shoot for the seventh. Okay, there you go. We'll take it. And we were able to get Jalen Rose with that pick. That's not bad. Scotty left us to join the Knicks. We still have four 90s, but losing Pippen was a big loss. Time for year 12. David Robinson wins MVP. We're still a pretty good basketball team, and the numbers this year aren't that eye-popping. And we're going to be swept by the Magic. We managed to get to the second round, but if this team had a problem, it probably would be it doesn't have much depth. And how fitting we lost to Asar. And the Rockets win the whole thing. MJ finals MVP. The Heat have the first pick, so we're going to them. Throw in some second round picks. Still, no. I feel like we're close, though. Maybe this gets it done. Oh, we just traded garbage and Jalen Rose for the first overall pick. We didn't even have to trade anybody good, and we got Kevin Garnett. The Akeem era might be coming to an end, especially in a draft class like this. Michael Jordan's your MVP. We won a good amount of games. If a 78 and 4 team can't win the championship, I don't know what I'm doing. And we're finally back in the finals against the Timberwolves. And how is this team in the finals? <laughs> well, that might have been the easiest ring of all time. Now, we have a few problems though. I want to try to get two players from this 96 draft class and Akeem's on a contract here so I have to pay Akeem and somehow bring in two guys. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it but we're going to give it a shot. Hopefully I don't have to let Akeem walk. That's the that's the worst case scenario. So the Raptors and Heat have the top two picks. I have to trade literally everything for Kobe. I'm not doing that. So I'm going to try to get the second and third pick. How's all this look? Oh! They... They actually took that. Okay, well, we just got the second and third pick in the draft. We had to get rid of Sean Kemp, but it was worth it. So we're going to take Iverson with our second pick. And I already have two point guards, so I think I'm going to go Ray Allen. Hakeem left us, man. I, I uh, But we still have a bright future, so I'm okay with losing him. It's just we didn't get any value for him. I would have traded him, but we only get one trade a year. Chris Webber's our MVP. All right. I guess Kemp was still in the spotlight, but we're obviously worse. More so because we lost Hakeem, but hey, we had a good season. And we're back in the finals again against this Timberwolves team, who now has Michael Jordan. Okay, that's really random. And that'll be another easy ring for us. Look at Chris Webber, man, taking on the leadership role. Gotta say, I did not see that coming. The Blazers have the first pick, and this draft has Tim Duncan and T-Mac, man. I might just go for T-Mac. One first-round pick. 
There we go. All right, we got the third pick in the draft. I tried to get the second. They just wouldn't budge on it. So I just got to hope they don't take T-Mac here. Don't take T-Mac. You're so, you're so weird. You are so weird. He was projected to go third. All right, yeah, I guess give me Chauncey. What the hell? And Gary Payton left us to join the Sonics. Great. I guess we got a point guard in time, though. Well, we're a great team, but we lost a great player. We're now in year 15. Chris Webber with another MVP. The days of winning 70 games might be over. But as long as we win the chip, I can care less. We're trying to book a trip to the finals in this game seven. Four seconds left to go to the finals. Hawkins! Three! Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> I got that they did not get themselves a good shot there. We're making our, I don't know, like 15 trip to the finals. I don't know how many we've been doing. We've been doing a lot. Oh, Akeem was on this team. Oh, that's kind of, I forgot he went here. And we got to play a pretty mediocre Jazz team. And week might have been an understatement. That right there is 11 championships in 15 seasons. We've lost a lot of good players on these runs. But we've been able to maintain enough to actually stay successful. And look at KG with the triple double. The Hornets and Nets have the top two picks. I think I'd rather have Dirk and Paul Pierce. So I might try the trade for the second and fourth pick second and fifth pick there we go all right we got the second and fifth pick i'm just gonna pray paul pierce slips in the draft why did dirt go first they literally said they were taking they were taking vince carter don't take paul pierce okay cool alan lucas see you later dude fourth pick don't take paul pierce D okay all right we're getting paul pierce I i'm cool with that. i really wanted dirk but we will take vince carter and paul pierce this team now has 590 overall so let's send the season jason Kidd with an mvp we had a pretty good year and iverson was our leading scorer dropping 18 a game another game seven with the chance to make the finals ai trying to drive it's not there he's gonna force up a shot and he missed it. Great shot, AI. I mean, this team has Jason Kidd and Akeem, man. Not much we can do. And Philly won the championship. Shout out, Akeem. The Heat had the first pick, but I don't care much for this draft. All this for the third pick in the draft? Thank you. And we're going to take Lamar Odom. Why not? Here's our team going in the year 17. Let's win a chip. Jason Kidd with another MVP. I don't know the last time he weren't the one seed. And AI's doing his thing. And we just lost in five games versus the Buck. The league's starting to get more competitive, so we got to build somehow a better team than what we already have. The Wolves go ahead and win it all. Jackson Wellington finals MVP. Okay. The Spurs have the first pick but again i don't care for this draft can i get the third pick for all this there we go all right we'll take the third pick i don't really need a top pick in this draft we want a michael red why not well chris weber left us that's a big loss but you gotta do whatever it takes to keep the team intact so we've had like five players win mvp we're back to winning 70 games so this could be our year we'll see and we made our way back to the finals playing a weak timberwolves team without mj i'm assuming mj retired it's been a while but we're finally getting a ring we just gotta keep this momentum going look at kg man the wizards have the number one pick i wouldn't mind getting arenas and paul gasol that sounds pretty good maybe we give the hawks ray allen and we flip this around i don't know if that makes any sense let's see okay all right so the hawks want ray allen cool can i okay there we go i just have to flip it around so now ray allen's going to the hawks i think but we got the second and third pick i don't care if they take arenas you can have him that's fine i'm getting tony parker and i'm getting pal gasol dude Shaq, you can't go to the heat bro this isn't supposed to be realistic i got rid of ray Allen to make sure i secure Shaq, but it just didn't work out baron davis mvp we were the third seed winning 54 games we're still a great team but it is starting to get a little ugly and we're gonna lose the Shaq here in the first round all of our losses are against guys who are already on my team i just don't have the money to keep any of these guys tim duncan finals mvp warriors have the number one pick this draft's pretty mid this has to get it done for the third pick there we go all right, we got the third pick what a steal man you still have five 90s and young and upcoming players we're officially in year 20 we have to get lebron james on this team baron davis mvp we were the third seed again we are definitely missing Shaq, and we got swept by the bulls in the conference finals by a guy i got robbed for in the draft in t-mac and the blazers win it all baron davis is killing it out here the knicks and pacers have the top two picks does this get it done Done? Thank you. Okay, it took every asset possible, but we got the first third pick. I had to let go of AI and Penny, but they were getting older, so we had to make it. We had to make it happen. The number one pick is, of course, LeBron James. I know Mel is the one that got away Pistons fans, but we're going with Wade. We lost some big pieces this offseason, but it's okay. We miss you, Chris, and I miss being a good basketball team. Although I guess this is better than the current Pistons, and we just can't get by this Bulls team. The Bulls win it all. T Mac Finals MVP, the one that got away. He should be on our team right now. We got robbed. The Jazz have the first pick. How about that? There we go. All right, so we got a first round. We got the number one pick, and we got two firsts from them in the next two years. And with our number one pick, we took Dwight Howard. LeBron's now up to an 88 overall. Now we're on the year 22. Tim Duncan, MVP. We're back to being the first seed. That LeBron guy is helping us out. But we still just can't beat Chicago. We're just going to have to beat him. I don't know when that's going to happen, but we'll see. We have the first pick from Utah. Oh, my God. What a trade that was. Oh, I robbed them. I'm not even going for Seattle's second pick, but I want their picks in the next three years. All this... 
Oh, wait, they took it. So I have the Supersonics first round pick in the next three years. I don't have their current one. Let's welcome Chris Paul to the team. I gotta let Vince Carter walk. We can't afford him. It also might be time to get rid of Pierce. We are now in year 23. KG with an MVP. Still staying strong as the first seed. We still gotta beat that Bulls team. Man, we literally can't get to the finals. Another conference finals loss for us. The Mavericks win the whole thing. I don't really... And Chris Webber, just like all the players we've had before are just beating us. We have the fifth overall pick in the draft and the 11th. Doing my best here. I am doing my... Okay, there we go. We got two future first. I don't really want to draft pick it for this year. There's no players to go get either. So at pick five, we grab Lowry. And at pick 11, we get JJ Redick. And we're going to lose Yao Ming because I'm over the hard cap. That's just so unfortunate. I think it's time to trade Paul Pierce next year. I know this looks like I'm just dumping Pierce for LaMarcus Aldridge, but it makes sense. So let's make the trade happen. Just go ahead and do it. Okay, they're not doing it. Two first round picks. Thank you. All right, I took a second first round pick, but they're mine. My team's always good, so let's sim the season. Baron Davis being great. We got the two seed. And D. Wade's leading us in scoring. And after many years, we are finally back in the finals where we got to play kobe and vince carter why are they on one team and ring number 13 is ours every team we've had since year two has been stacked but now we got that guy named lebron so he's gonna help out a lot it also might be time for kg to leave the draft line did not treat us kindly and i don't have a trade so we're just going right into it we got marcus all with our first pick our second pick's gonna be thaddeus young but we obviously missed out on kd i gotta let d wade walk that's 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 crazy bro it's a sad day to see wade go shocker there another player leaving us to be fair to wade i couldn't afford him so it's not his fault and we we can't keep everybody, so it is what it is. And after going through a rough seven-game series, we are back in the finals where we're literally playing our team. Like, <laughs> y'all make Lamar Odom, AI, and Penny Hardaway. And that'll be another ring for us. That's 14 rings in 25 years. Not a bad average. But this was most likely KG's final year on this team. And he had a triple-double, too. The Raptors have the first pick. I would trade five unprotected first. I would do this. Oh, there's a counter. Okay, I'm getting five unprotected first-round picks for Tony Parker and Paul Gasol. We're gonna save so much money. So let's go ahead and do it. It's in. Rose goes number one. That's fine. And we're going to take Russell Westbrook with our second pick. And Kevin Love is still here at seven. I was pretty much sacrificing not getting Love. But we're still getting him. I'm shocked he was still there. And there goes Kevin Garnett as expected. KG may be gone, but we built a pretty good team. Let's send the season. We're getting closer to it being LeBron's league. We were the second seed. And here's how the team's looking. And we got gentlemen swept in the second round. And the magic with Okay, Paul Pierre. All right, buddy. Okay, true. The Knicks have the first pick. Does this deal get done? No, and they want too many draft picks. They want two unprotected furs, and no, you're, you're like you're no, you're out of your mind. Take these second round picks. Thank you. Okay, they took the second round picks. I got the first pick in the draft. I had to go Westbrook though. That was very annoying, but welcome Steph Curry to the team. And Drew Holiday was there at 15, so welcome him too. We still got Chris Paul and LeBron leading this team. LeBron with another MVP. We're the second seed, winning 68 games. Curry had a solid rookie year, and we got swept by this Philly team who has Steve Nash and old Jason Kidd here. Like, what is this team? And the Wolves win it all. Joe Johnson Finals MVP. The Bucks have the first pick. I don't even need the number one pick i just want two and three dallas actually likes this deal but denver's the one who needs more oh okay that worked i was i was just talking to my head and we got the second and third pick i gave up dwight but I, you know i had to, he was making a lot of money all right so john wall goes first that's fine i wasn't looking for him second pick we're taking boogie we grab paul george with the third pick we got a lot of really good players here but it hasn't been enough to win a championship we are in the lebron era we are finally the first seed and steph's trying to take chris paul's spot and we finally made another finals trip where we got to take down rondo and harden of course the white howard and that's gonna be ring number 15 the days of ripping off five six championships in a row are probably gone wait a is Carl Malone our coach? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I had no idea. Okay, well, uh, anyway, the Hawks have the first pick, but I'm probably not too concerned with that. Gotta find a way to get Kawhi and either Jimmy or Clay. Oh, they put, okay. I didn't think that was gonna go through, but we got the second and third pick yet again. I swear to God, the Hawks take Kawhi. I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, thank you. Like, I'm, I'm not getting screwed over like with T Mac last time. So, welcome to the team, Kawhi. We're gonna bring in my guy, Jimmy Buckets. And with the 24th pick, we got Tobias Harris. Curry's up now to a 90 overall. And we are now in year 29. These LeBron stats aren't even crazy. Are we getting back to being the top of the league? And by top of the league, I mean dynasty. It looks like we might because we're going back to the finals where we gotta play Gilbert Arenas and Gasol. Well, that was a pretty easy ring. How did this team make the finals? Like, where are the other good players? in the league. I know I have, like, all of them, but, you know, I just, you know, what are we gonna do? The Warriors have the first pick, and I need to get Anthony Davis. Take Channing Fry, okay, and a first-round pick. Oh, there we go. Took that first-round pick, and we got the first overall pick, and we got a couple others with it. So, welcome Anthony Davis to the squad. Yeah, Kevin Love's gone, guys. I gotta let him walk. And he went to the Heat. How fitting. But I love this team, man. Like, like, this is insane. Well, we're in year 30, which means we're getting a championship every other year, pretty much. KD with an MVP. I wish I tried to get him. It just wasn't in the cards. But I think we're doing okay without him. And we lost in Game 7 of the 
the second round. We just got dropped off by Yao and Brandon Roy and Westbrook. Well, that was random. And the Knicks win the championship. Westbrook finals MVP. He's making me regret that trade. I did just trade him straight up for Steph Curry pretty much. Man, that was nasty. And the Raptors had the first pick. Giannis is projected to go third. I don't believe this. We're going to lock this trade in. Four first round picks and Wally Serbiak for pretty much all this. And Marcus Stahl is the only really valuable thing here. They better not take Giannis with the first pick. Don't. I, I hate this game. Why do they lie in the draft boards? Guess I'll take the three-time defensive player of the year. That, that went horribly, man. Giannis would have completed his team, man. Let's hope we're lucky in the next draft. John Wall, MVP. Shout out John, but okay. I guess nobody on our team should really win it, honestly. But we're back in the finals after that weird one-off year. We're playing Gilbert Arenas again. We're here in game four, going for the sweep. Memphis has one last chance here. Gilbert trying to drive. I don't know why he's driving. Oh, Jason Richardson smokes. He can they get their own board. Gallinari. It's off, and that's going to do it. And I know my team's good, but the West seems to be really watered down if just Gilbert Arenas and a bunch of whatever's making it. Like, I don't understand where the better teams are. Shout out Jay Rich, though. I got the number one pick from Golden State. Okay, that trade, I feel a lot better now about that whole Giannis debacle. Will this get us the second pick in the draft? It does. All right, Gobert, thank you. Your services has mattered. Because even though we didn't get Giannis, we're going to have Jokic, and we're going to have Embiid. And we're going to grab Clint Capella for trade value. And I'm making an executive decision to let Chris Paul walk. This is is now Steph's show to run. Our team's still great without Paul. Let's win another ring. Might be the worst MVP numbers ever. But I'm not complaining we won 70 games. LeBron was our fifth leading scorer and won MVP. <laughs> That's so weird. And we're back in the finals against the Pelicans who have Dirk and Kemba Walker. I mean, it's better than the Gilbert Arenas Grizzlies team. Well, it's definitely more competitive. We've got a game seven. LeBron trying to drive. It's not there. PG for three. Knocks it down. Big shot from PG. Dirk for three. It's off. That should do it. That right there is ring number 18. Oh my god, Jimmy's holding the trophy. Joel Embiid doesn't even play for this team, dude. The Clippers have the first and second pick. Five first round picks for Boogie. I think this is pretty fair. Yeah, all right, we'll take five first round picks. Now, it is the fourth pick in the draft, so I'm just going to hope I get somebody good. Okay, I don't want talents. I don't care. Second pick is going to be... Oh, there's a trade. Anyway, the Heat are going to draft Porzingis. Okay, fine. The third pick's going to be... Oh, good. I'm getting Booker. I wanted Booker, so that was a steal, 100%. I think Jimmy's the next guy to leave this team. He just hasn't panned out like I thought he would. LeBron with another MVP. We won 74 games. Steph was our leading scorer. We find ourselves back in the finals versus Denver. We have D-Wade and Harden. That's nasty. Just got to hold on here with a minute left in game seven. Wade driving to the basket. Open lane. Oh my God, Jokic. What are you doing? To finish off the end one. He got it. Curry coming off the screen. Curry driving to the basket. Gives it to AD. AD got a mismatch. Got to go up with that. Easy. Take a three-point lead. Wade off the screen. Wade pull up mini. Kicks it out to McLeod. He missed it. How do you miss that shot? And this will be ring number 19 for us. That was a close one, but we pulled it out in the end. Look at Steph, 31 and 11. LeBron with a triple-double. I don't love this draft. I guess Ben would be cool. Will this do it? Wow, they're not doing that? How about that? How about that? There we go. Okay, we just got the first and second pick. We got rid of Paul George and Jimmy, but they were making a lot of money, so. So we're taking Ben Simmons, and we're taking Jalen Brown. I think we're going to lose LeBron when I press start here, dude. I'm, like, pretty convinced we're going to lose LeBron. I knew it, bro. I knew we were going to lose LeBron. That, that's insane. I made that trade in the offseason to make sure LeBron stayed, and we got screwed. I mean, we're still a great team, but we're missing LeBron. Shocker there is LeBron. Now, we're still a good team, but if I lose the LeBron in the playoffs, I'm going to lose my mind. And after a rough row, we got to face the Rockets in the finals. We have Chris Bosh, Bargnani, and JR, and that's going to be ring number 20. I guess this just shows how good this team is. We can lose a guy like LeBron James and not miss a beat. Boston has the first pick. I need Tatum. I'm giving up a lot here, but does it get done? No. Wow. They're, they're not even... I'm not even getting like a... Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Yes, I traded Kawhi to get off his salary, and I got like two or three first-round picks from uh, from Phoenix. And I got OG at pick 16. I had to bring out the bank for Steph Curry. Let's hope it was worth it. KD with an MVP. We won 60 games. We did just lose Kawhi and LeBron in back-to-back -back years, so give us a break. And even without Kawhi, we make our way to the finals, where we got to play a team of nobody I know. That'll be ring number 21. Not a lot of teams can lose Kawhi and LeBron in back-to-back -back years and still go back-to-back. -back. And we have the number two overall pick from Washington. All right, let's do it. You got a deal. Let's go. We have the first pick. We're taking Luka, obviously. I don't know how he fell this far. We're taking Shea. I just signed Jokic and Embiid, the mega contract. Curry's got to go soon. And as I say that, he wins MVP. And we win 70 games. This should be another easy ring. And we're back in the finals. And of course, it's against LeBron. Shocker. And we actually took down LeBron. Now, we do have 22 championships, but I'm a little worried. I gave Steph Curry a no trade clause. And I probably would have traded him by now, but it might end up blowing the whole team up because I can't trade him. We got the third pick in this year's draft. Does that get it done? Okay, we got the second pick in the draft. I gave up Shea. Zion goes one. We're going to take Ja two. And we took Tyler. 
Tyler Hero, why not? Well, we lost Devin Booker, but I didn't really have a choice. I tried trading and beat that whole offseason, but it didn't work out. LeBron with an MVP. We're still a good basketball team. This is an insane roster. <laughs> I just kind of realized. And we made our way back to the finals, where we got to play John Wall and DeAndre Jordan. Should be good. And that's going to be ring number 23. We just got to keep up the formula. Keep bringing in young players and cut off the old ones. Except for Curry, because I can't. The Rockets have the first pick. Oh, wow. Okay, they took it. Jokic is gone. I had to get rid of somebody, man. The, the money was too much. And we have the second pick. So I don't know who's going one. Okay, wise, but I wasn't going to draft them. And we're going to take Ant with the second pick. And I took Tyrese with the 13th pick. We're keeping Ben Simmons. Got to let Jalen Brown walk. Team's looking pretty good. How many times is this going to happen? I had to rip the band-aid off, man. That's what it takes to build dynasties. We're facing the Pelicans in the finals. We have Kevin Love, Klay Thompson, and Drew. We have lost every great player and still win chips. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Keep the strategy till it stops working. Look at Ben Simmons. Clippers have the first pick. Does this get me the second? pick in the draft it does all right and i guess we'll take Cade. i also have the ninth pick we're gonna take sangoon i was actually able to keep steph but i had to let ad walk but i'm 100 percent gonna trade steph the first chance i get lebron another mvp we're still winning over 60 games and ben simmons has become the best player on this team never thought i'd say that but we're back in the finals against De'Aaron fox that's their best player all right bro damn my bad <laughs> okay they just beat us in five i guess fox went crazy hawks have the first pick Oh, okay, that second round pick got it done. I got the second pick. RJ Miles goes number one, okay. So we're gonna take Ben Carroll. That worked out. Death's gone, but we still got four 90s. We should still win the championship. Look at Ben Simmons. I said he was our best player. The Luka might have had a better year. I don't know. <laughs> Back in the finals once again. Lost to Fox last time. Let's not lose to Zion. We got a shot in game seven. Come on, Ben. Lock that up. Good defense, Ben. Good defense, Ben. Oh, we got a rebound, guys. Oh, that's a killer. Ben Simmons in the post. Are we troll? Okay, I don't know how he made that. Can you please miss a free throw? Oh, that's off. That's definitely off. Let's go. Push it. Go, Ben. Go, Ben. Hit Luca. Luca three. You can't sell that hard. That's bad, Luca. Look at Ben giving us 37. We're going for that first pick. Okay, we got the number one pick. With our first pick, Victor Webinyama. I forgot to import the rest of the draft class, so it's just Wemby and a bunch of fake players. And Ben Simmons left us. We're still looking pretty good, but not crazy dominant. And we're now back to present day, year 40. Another former Pistons player. We still won 63 games. And Luka was our leading scorer. And we lost in the conference finals against Bull Bull and Kevin Love. That's a crazy team. And the Cavs win the championship. Kevin Love, another former player. Like, all our former players have won championships. I didn't make a trade, but drafted Bronny with the 19th pick. And I didn't make a trade this year. I just didn't feel the need to. But I definitely will this year for Cooper. Luka Luka with an MVP. We won 60 games again. And Wemby was almost our leading scorer. And we're back in the finals versus the Spurs. Who have MPJ, Tyler Hero, and Pr How did this team make the final? That'll be ring number 25. We got about nine years left. So if we just keep this team together for nine years somehow and just try to rip off five or six more rings, that's the goal. Tatum had a great game. The Bucks have the first pick. This should be enough. There we go. I gotta just pray they don't take Cooper with the first pick. Don't screw me over. Okay. Th okay. That wasn't even either person. So we'll be taking Coop. Wemby's almost become our best player. And it might be time to trade him. Beat. Luka MVP. We won 76 games. I think we're easily the best team in the league. Back in the finals again, where we got to face Zion again. That's going to be ring number 26. I think my goal now is to get 30 championships. Why is Cooper flag holding the finals MVP? I'll throw an old depot. There we go. All right, we got rid of Embiid for four first round picks. I got rid of Embiid so I could re-sign Tatum. It's what you got to do to keep the team relevant. Wemby with an MVP. We went 74 and 8, and we have a lot of good players. And we lost in the conference finals to a magic team with Jabari Smith Jr. and Gary Harris and Jamal Murray. What a weird way to lose, man. I mean, losing to KD, that's fine. And I have the number one overall pick. Shout out, Phoenix. We're going to trade four first for Jason Tatum. It didn't go through. I'll trade one of my first. There we go. Made it happen. And I drafted Anderson Sims with my first pick. I think I'm going to lose Luka. I knew it, dude. I traded Tatum so I could keep Luka, and he didn't stay. Losing Luka and Tatum in one offseason definitely was not a good thing. Got to hope we bounce back. Lonzo Ball MVP. You know what? Good for him. We're down to 56 wins. What happened, man? Oh, right. We lost Luka and Tatum in one year. Right. Okay. And we lost in the same exact spot. Why do we keep losing to this team? And they just won the championship. Stefan Gassell. Okay. Give me the first pick. Thank you. Apparently this guy, Russ Curry, is really good. And Ja left us too. Everyone's just leaving us. We've lost 390 overalls in two years. I don't know if this team can win it. We'll see. Gassell with an MVP. They won 67 games. Okay, that's a crazy team. We actually might not have enough to beat them. Well, we're not going to get the chance because we're losing the Collier. Is this Jalen Brown? Yeah, Jalen Brown. Oh, we just ran into the Magic Dynasty, dude. Will this go through? Okay, we'll take Jacoby Walker. He's an 88 overall. We'll take him. We might need to trade Kate. He's got one year left. We've got five seasons left, and I want four more rings. It's going to be tough. I found this trade for Kate. It seems pretty fair for us. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take that. This team can win a championship. I think this is Carlos Boozer's son. Well, good for him. We won 60 games. For one year, Wemby, you just got to carry us. And we're finally back in the finals. Where, of course, we have to play Boozer. Okay, well, that's great. Shout out, Wemby, for finally carrying, man. We got rid of Kate at the right time and made the moves necessary to be able to win this. Shout out, Darren. Look at this 28 and 5. We kept the team mostly intact. Let's try 
try and win another ring. Isaiah Cole, your MVP. We won 63 games. Wemby's our third leading scorer. We had a tough row, but we're back in the finals. Facing off against Boozer again. Gotta close him out right here. Peterson trying to drive. Has the angle. Tough shot. I don't know how that went in. Knock these down and we'll get our 28th championship. Well, you're like, what? Third or fourth, I think? Or something like that. And that's gonna be ring number 28. We got two left to get to try to get to 30. But we don't have much time. I don't know why LaMelo's here, but, you know, have fun. Look at Darren Peterson carrying. We're gonna be trading Matt for the first pick to save some salary. I drafted the one good player, Brent Moore. I gave this man Wemby all the money he could want. I'm gonna use my trade now to trade for somebody on a two-year deal. I just gotta keep this team together till year 50. Wemby with an MVP. We're still good at basketball. Let's get ring number 29. And we somehow made our way back to the finals. Where we gotta play Ace Bailey in the Kings. And we are not gonna be winning this one. Well, we lost Russ Curry. We're gonna take this deal right here just so I'm locked in for the next two years. Now we're ready to go. Cassell with an MVP. We're down to the third seed winning 50 games. Cooper's killing it, but we need a ring. And we're going out in the conference finals. Look at Cooper, man. He was great. So I guess we're not getting 30 chips, but I can at least hope for 29. We got one year left to do this. We're gonna make our final trade. Anthony Edwards for Jabari Smith Jr. We had Cooper playing the four. I didn't really like it, so we had to get rid of him. Boozer with an MVP. We're back up at the first seed. Let's have a good final run. We're just losing the first round. I, how, how fitting, man. Got dropped off by Towns. Cool. Uh, is this Bronny and Hal? It actually be a pretty good team. I'm not mad losing to that team. The Spurs won it all. Ellis Harrington finals MVP. So yes, we did win 28 championships in 50 years. The most we won in a row is eight, which could have been 11 if we didn't lose this one right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you want to see next. Goodbye.